morning everyone uh, yesterday was your call about this uh, 2012 I think the Nissan Maxima 3.5 liter engine uh, this vehicle has a parasitic uh, jaw customer says every uh, day they have to jump in the morning they just uh, got a new battery of course because their battery is dead and um, looking at it right now it's uh, jumping between six uh, you know 160 and 200 milliamp so I just uh, talked to the owner uh, conclusion is she doesn't have I don't think she has a uh, problem with a parasitic uh, drug although I uh, that uh, 160 200 milliamp I don't like it we'll check that out before uh, after sorry but uh, Right now, I think she has a uh, charging uh, issue. She said uh, the first time happened, it was uh, last week, and it happened while they're driving, the car died on them all of a sudden, and they changed a, a battery, they changed the alternator, and she still have the same problem. And she said it, it usually takes the next morning, the car doesn't start, but, uh, I don't think that uh, 160 milliamp will uh, drain the battery completely in one night. Um, and I would assume probably it will if, if the battery, the old battery was bad, but she said same thing happened with the new battery, new alternator. So we have to look at this uh, from a, a different perspective. And ironically, she didn't know nothing about an accident in the vehicle. She didn't know that her car was involved in an accident. She said she's been uh, having the car for a year and uh, she didn't have no accident when, uh, when she had the car. So we're going to find out what's going to happen. Voltage 11.7 yeah definitely have charging issue here let's go to the battery see if this is a an accurate reading 11 and a half no more than 12 11.9 Which one should I believe? So let me disconnect this And <laughs> the car shut off We have a charging issue definitely I mean this is the The old way to do it I didn't mean to do it but yeah the car was running off the battery all the time first i want to check out see if there is a really a new alternator she said they changed the alternator and it looks new right there i don't know if you guys see it no, it's behind that. Yeah, right there. You see the sticker? It's, it looks no to me. It doesn't have no oil, no dust on it. 
Hmm. Now I want to see the harness. I want to check the harness. Look at this. Hmm. I don't like what I see. I'm sure you guys. I do not like what I see. Wow. That wire is definitely cut. Seriously, when they changed the alternator, they didn't notice that? Unbelievable. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you guys. Yeah, but you cannot get better than this. I'm using my phone, by the way, filming all these videos. So I moved that uh, uh, radiator hose, the top one. I have a better access to that harness and actually that uh that thing that's sticking out that's not a, a piece of wire it's just the insulation that one this harness has three wires and all three wires are there so i wanna i just don't like the harness itself it looks melted i want to pull it out see if it's clicked first and uh oh look at that where is it? I'll show you guys. Look. Whoa. <laughs> the harness is not clicked. Yeah. And, and the harness is. This. It is definitely one of the reasons. Let me see the pins on the alternator itself. They. I look okay. Yeah, they look okay. I know it's it's stuff I don't have. Yeah, look at this. They're not broken, all three pins are there, but there's some stuff actually fell. Yeah, I thought I thought this is a a wire cut, but it's not. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, this harness is definitely bad. Ooh. By the way, I'm using the Note 20 Ultra. Yeah, that middle pin and the wire itself. Let me see if we can get a another harness to replace it with this one so first of all I wanted to see if I can avoid uh, replacing the alternate, uh, that uh, uh, alternator harness yes so we're gonna clean this with some uh, electric cleaner it looks clean now I'm gonna carefully
เลยมาช่วยเรามาช่วยเรียสสวัสดีครับผมผมใช้ถุงไฟสีแดงไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไป Now what I'm going to do is clean this mess right here and plug it back in and start the vehicle and see if if the alternator charges. If it does, then I will tell the customer, "Hey, we saved you some money by not uh, cutting this uh, OEM harness and uh, bringing another one from a junkyard." But at the same time, that's a uh, Possibility future issue, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is definitely better. I try to use this one, but this is too big. Again, and I don't want to spread the uh, the pins out there. So what I used, I used this tool, the one I used before for the. Uh, Actually, for these pins to take them out, but uh, I used a smaller one. I started to clean. One thing I noticed: the two outer pins I can go through all the way, and the one in the, you see like that. See how it went all the way in, and the one in the middle, I can't. I just go about this much, which again should be enough. For the uh, pin over there on the other end, the mill. But uh, yeah, this one goes all the way in like that. See it? Yeah. But now it's clean. It has a lot. Of, it had a lot of uh, rust in it. I cleaned it with that uh, contact cleaner. Spray some two plus two on it. Wipe it and blow it with air. Now it's dry. This is my concern. This one right here. But let's. Plug it. See if it clicks. See if it clicks. Wasn't clicking before. Ah, oh, let me let me blow that one. So it should be this way. Come on. I'm looking at it right here on the side. I know you guys don't see it. It's Almost in. I don't think it clicked. Let me see if you guys. Yeah. From here, I don't think it clicked. Well, yep, it didn't click. Is it possible that that middle middle one, whatever, is stuck inside, or I don't know? But it didn't click again. Let me push it harder. I'm gonna need my both of my hands. I tried everything with this harness. I even pushed it with a longer. Um, 
screwdriver when I put it over there on both sides and it didn't click I tried to push this actually in didn't click as soon as I just remove with my hand it will pop out so what I did I kept uh, playing around with that middle uh, hole right there and I was able to push whatever was stuck inside now it is like the others I think that might have something to do with preventing the harness from going all the way down. The other ones, same thing. So let's try it right now. Okay. I'm not sure if that alternator is original or aftermarket. If it is aftermarket, well, it did. Oh my god, it did. Look, yeah, I'm pulling on it. I want to pull harder, I want to damage the wires more than they're damaged, but uh, it clicked. Let me put the hose back and watch charging. All right, uh, let's start it. Yep. 14.4. That's what I'm talking about. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> that we might, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this car never had a uh, a problem with the radio. They said it's the radio, but it's not. So the lesson here is always talk to the customer. Do not rely on what the shop says because the mechanic could probably uh, looked at it differently than what you look at it so always talk to the customer directly she said the car died while they're driving and uh, so it's power supply issue um, what I'm going to remove the hose again uh, clean this mess use some uh, some of this tape thermal tape uh, and take some pictures for the customer to show her what's going on with her vehicle but so far this vehicle is fixed another harness 14.3 thank you guys for watching I just came back from the junkyard and uh, I took this off a, uh, a Nissan uh, Murano. I couldn't find anything in the uh, Maximas. Um, the only thing is this is broken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, switch these wires here. Yeah, it's the same, same color and same everything, same setup. These pins are good and the wires are good. Right. See this one here.
Wow, so finally I got all of them out. This is the old one I'm gonna use. But let me show you guys what happened. When I was pulling the yellow one, which is the middle one, this came out of it. So you guys remember when we were not able to push the harness down and I thought it was because of the debris or the, the stuff in and I had to push it with the uh, with the screwdriver and when I put when I was using one of these here to poke in the middle it wasn't going all the way in I had to force it in because this was inside and it is a what I believe a piece of the connector for the old altar so whoever pulled it out at some point this broke in it and it stayed in it and this one prevented the whole harness to go in and that's why we didn't have no charging in a vehicle now the I gave the customer the option to either just clean it up and repair it that way or just uh, get a, a new harness and she decided to go with a new wiring and this is my concern and I told them why because this problem is gonna happen in the future look at this and this one too all of them broken right here this one these ones are good so I'm gonna replace these put them in the old housing and cut them from here and solder everything here it is after the repair All of them are in this weather piece is way better than the other one and all of them clicked what I'm gonna do is put that back this uh, white piece right here and uh, put it back in actually put a black tape here this is the final result and the harness clicked in nicely without any resistance here we go We are good to go here. Time to call the customer and um, thank you guys for watching please like share subscribe and hit the notification button the little one for more videos i really appreciate your time